Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of my Market Winners series. Um, it's getting down to the time now where we can look back and reflect on how this year has gone and find the true market winners that if you invested just a little bit at the beginning of the year, you would have done very, very well. Obviously, that's all in hindsight, but it's still very important to uh, analyze these different winners and take bits and pieces about their fundamentals and technicals and try to apply them to new trades and new opportunities. Um, so one of the top performers this year is Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals, which is ARWR. Uh, this stock has increased 400% this year alone, um, going from about 12 all the way to now 6456. So the first thing I want to do is kind of give an overview of this stock in MarketSmith, and then we'll transition over to TC2000 um, and kind of go week by week and look at potential buy points, uh, big jumps due to earnings, uh, that type of thing. Um, so first, looking at the fundamentals, you can see down here that the earnings, sales, um, and margins are fantastic. This is really what drives a stock to increase dramatically in price, uh, just like ARWR did. You can see all the different earnings down here from the three different quarters. Um, it started out um, plus 172%, then plus 233, plus 217, plus 192. So uh, incredible growth in terms of earnings and also sales as well. And the margins are absolutely incredible as well. So everything I really look for in terms of fundamentals were there. And um, from that point on, all you got to do is find a proper entry point um, using the technical analysis of the charts. Um, so what we have on the screen right now is uh, just kind of a daily view of the full um, year of Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals. Uh, here we have a weekly version of the same exact thing um, going back in time a little bit further um, in terms of September 2016. Uh, but look at this crazy run it's been on since about September of 2017. Um, even before this year, it was on an incredible run um, and that's what I like to find. I like to find stocks uh, that have already been doing excellently and have had really strong relative strength and have already doubled. This is what uh, Nicholas Darvis really liked to find. Uh, he said that if you want to find a stock that's going to double, find one that's already doubled. Um, and I've really taken this to heart and I love to see stocks that are breaking into new highs that have already increased at least 100% that year alone. Um, and Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals definitely fits that bill. So now going into 2000, let's kind of go through uh, the, the chart of ARWR analyze where we could have identified potential buy points. First, looking at the monthly chart, you can see that it actually is below its green line during all of this move. Um, and just now it's hitting resistance because of all those sellers at the very beginning in 2007. Um, however, because of those amazing EPS numbers, um, I don't think it's a detriment to the stock that uh, during this move, it was below its green line. Uh, but anyway, looking at its short-term possible entries, uh, you can see that in January 2019, it did drop because of the overall market, uh, but it formed this nice long consolidation pattern right here, um, attempted to rally there, um, but met resistance because it was at the same level of this previous base. Um, and then I think the first potential buying opportunity for this stock occurs right about here in um, late May. Uh, because you can see it pops up out of this Darvis box, out of this sideways consolidation on big volume. So let's go ahead and look on the weekly chart and see what was happening at this point. Um, so going back um, to 521, you can see that there's actually a green dot on this weekly bar right here. And this is a strong sign that the stock is actually ready to burst out and break out of that consolidation that it was in. Um, weekly volume is even more confirmation than daily volume simply because there's less noise. Um, and you can see that here, you've got 40 million shares uh, being traded that week on an up week, while the norm is only about 10 million. So four times the weekly average volume. That's a big sign, and that's definitely something that I'm gonna take away from this and look for. Um, but anyway, you can see it breaks above this level on increased volume. So this, I believe, is the first potential buy point. Then you can see 
it kind of goes up gradually, um, and then kind of consolidates again and drops off, uh, forming a little cup and handle here. Let's go to the daily charts. So here on the daily chart, you can see it's not quite a cup and handle pattern, but it's still a significant dip and then a good recovery from that. Um, and then at this point, it consolidates that big move that it just had um, and forms a potential buy point in these bars. You can see above average volume coming in right on these days, 11, 12. Um, and I believe that this was actually the day or this weekend was when I first highlighted um, this stock on my weekly watch this series. So um, from this, this point on, it has increased dramatically um, and is still sitting with a 50% gain from that point. So still a very, very good stock. Um, it definitely needs some time to consolidate this massive move that's had this year, uh, but still the fundamentals are there. So if it presents another buying opportunity, I may invest in this stock. I also want to mention a bit of portfolio management. Um, so if you did enter at this point, you need to have rules to determine when you're going to take profit and sell at least some of your shares because right here you've got kind of an exhaustion top uh, because it gaps up for a couple days in a row and each of these days were gains of about 20 percent so um, you can't be greedy and if you find that at any time um, you feel like this is too easy that is actually an indication that you should sell at least part of your position a lot of these big growth names um, once they're done with their first run they can drop very quickly, even faster than they gain value. Uh, INMD um, is a good example of this. Since its top right here, uh, with its own exhaustion gap right here, where it burst up, uh, set this new high, and then fell all the way back down, um, it's down about 25%. So you're better off selling into strength on days like this um, if you've got a significant gain. And this was definitely the case with ARWR, uh, where you might be better off selling on days like this before wading through the consolidation and potential drops on big volume uh, like this day on 1220. So overall, my takeaways from ARWR um, is that really earning sales and after-tax margins, those are what drive a stock to increase dramatically in price. And that's why I kind of have my sorting algorithms in Excel uh, to kind of focus on those top stocks um, and each and every week when I update my list I'll try to post the top 30 from that list um, and often those are stocks with excellent fundamentals uh, PLMR has been on that for uh, a bunch of weeks INMD was on that list um, and this is what causes stock uh, to really increase in price you can see PLMR with fantastic fundamentals if you go to the daily guppy chart um, it's been in a red, white, blue pattern since it IPO'd um, in May. So uh, you can see a dramatic increase from there as well. Uh, so this is what drives stocks. Um, and this is what I think you should focus on. Um, and then focus your watch list on stocks that meet this criteria. And then from that point on, what you got to do is find low risk entry points and setups uh, you can use green dots, you can use uh, Bollinger Band entries, or you can kind of use IBD's method of buying a stock when it's breaking through resistance, uh, such as at this point right here. Uh, so overall, focus on stocks that have very strong fundamentals, uh, triple digit growth names, um, and then buy them on setups where you can see the institutions acquiring shares based on the volume. Um, and also one thing that I'm going to focus on from this example is looking more at the weekly chart. I, f I find that I focus too much on the daily chart, which can be a little bit noisy and kind of rattle your nerves. Uh, you're kind of looking for big overall momentum swings and a weekly uh, chart will show you those more clearly with less noise. Uh, you could clearly identify this um, on um, 524, that this was a turning point for the stock and that it had the potential to go on a much bigger run. And from this point on, it increased 168%. You don't need a lot of those to have a very, very good year. So that is kind of my analysis of ARWR, which is a true market winner of 2019. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful. I definitely picked up a lot of things that I'm gonna uh, take with me into 2020, such as looking more at weekly charts, uh, focusing on the fundamentals, that type of thing. 
Uh, so if you yourself found this video useful, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that red button as well. Um, I've got a lot of interesting videos in store for 2020, and I hope to see you guys there. Um, if you have any thoughts of your own on ARWR, or if you have another stock that you want me to cover in this series, uh, let me know in the comment section, and I'll be glad to uh, cover that in a future video. But other than that, that's it for me. I hope you guys all have a fantastic holiday season, and I'll see you guys in future videos.